Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to Skillcaps 8.3 tier list for all things caster. This tier list has been put together with our group of rank 1 consultants and has been based around gladiator rating and upwards. Since our last tier list, there have been a lot of new changes to the game, including new essences, new trinkets, and everybody's favorite addition, corruption. So we're going to be talking about all the relevant caster specs and placing them into three separate tiers, with the weakest specs going into our B tier, working our way up to our strongest casters that will be placed into our S tier. We'll not only be giving you our reasoning behind these rankings, but also listing the best compositions for each of these specs. Just as a disclaimer, only highly represented specializations will be making it into our tier list. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to show your support. Currently, 80% of you are not subscribed, which means that most of you are missing out on the awesome rank 1 fueled info that we drop regularly that will be sure to boost your rating in no time. So be sure to show some love and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in even more content like this, along with gaining early access to all of our YouTube videos, exclusive matchup guides, access to our forums, and the opportunity to get your gameplay reviewed, be sure to head on over to skillcap.com wow and sign up today. So let's jump right into the list. While charging into our lowest tier for a second time and kicking this tier list off, we've got Balanced Druids. Balanced Druids are just not having a great time when it comes to Arena right now from once dominating the BlizzCon stage. Boomkins haven't gotten much love for some time and are almost non-existent in the metagame right now. But Balance does still bring some strengths, having great instant CC with Root Beam when they're able to use it combined with the potential to secure high impact Cyclones. Beyond that, while Incarn is up, they can do some huge bursts, so you can't knock that either. And as with all Druid specs, they don't lack for mobility. So why are Boomkin struggling? Well, honestly, Boomkin is night and day when and if you're able to utilize Root Beam effectively. Being in such a heavy monk and demon hunter meta means that Root Beam can easily be played around with abilities like Way of the Crane or even Reverse Magic. Primarily a dot class, Boomkin's damage over time effects just don't really create the pressure that they once did, especially again when facing things like Counteract Magic, Mist Weaver Monks. Although Balanced Druids are still seeing some success with their best composition, paired up with an Elemental and a Mist Weaver Monk. Moving up a tier list, we've got our A tier. These specs are all very good right now, but fall just short of our S tier. And falling into our first slot, we've got Elemental Shamans. Elemental are known for their high burst damage and for being such a nuisance to other casters. And well, Corruption has been kind to the Kings of Disruption. Being able to utilize Gushing Wounds better than any other caster on this list, Elemental Shamans now pack a considerable amount of consistent damage to pair up with their bursts. Their high disruption and great utility also make them fantastic in a caster fuel meta. Not to mention the recent buffs to Lightning Lasso have only gone to further push Elemental up into our A tier. What's holding Elemental back is their weakness to stuns coupled with their damage being easy to play around. Notoriously, Elemental has struggled with Rogue Mage, and with Rogue Mage being at the forefront of the meta right now, this holds Elemental back from our S tier. As for Compositions, they're an asset to any team, especially Caster Cleaves, out of which the strongest right now is Elemental Destro Mistweaver. Consolidating their place in our A tier for a second time around, we've got Shadow Priests. Shadow Priests are capable of some of the highest consistent spread pressure in the game if they're left to free cast, which makes them a great partner for Destro Warlocks in a double threat composition. Although that's not all Shadow Priests are capable of, Shadow Priests make great partners for melee damage dealers, being very durable and having access to high volumes of instant CC and, of course, the ability to spam Dispel Magic. Strong defensively with greater fade and dispersion, Shadow also brings some great utility for their team in the form of Life Grip, Void Shift, and, of course, Mass Dispel. Shadow's major weakness, though, is that they're very easily shut down, relying a lot on having to cast to get pressure out alone. Pair this up with their lack of mobility and non-existent burst damage hinders Shadow from climbing any further in this list. Comfortably rooting their way for a second time in our A tier, we've got Frost Mage. Frost Mage right now brings strong survivability with their ability to kite thanks to their abundance of slows, which makes them harder to kill than their Fire Mage counterparts, while bringing slightly less CC and having a harder job securing it due to the lack of Dragon 
Dragon's Breath. Frost Mages make up for it with the way they do damage. Although Fire has way more burst and of course access to greater pyro for that consistent pressure. Frost Mages bring consistent damage, but a lot easier to secure. Frost Mage also excels when facing other casters as you can line of sight a lot of the damage and still do high damage with your orb and blizzard, which makes it surprisingly strong in caster mirrors. Although strong, Frost is simply just put overshadowed by Fire in the meta right now. Compositions wise, Frost Mages do well in the same comps that Fire does, just having different strengths. All right, we've now reached the moment that you've all been waiting for. Time to find out which specs have made it into our highest tier. But before we do, let's quickly take a look at how our tier list looks right now. First off, blasting into our S tier, we've got Fire Mages. Fire Mage brings unrivaled burst damage during their combustion coupled with Lucid Dreams and even the Mechagon Bracers, which is also, by the way, all instant damage, so unavoidable. But if they're not bursting, Fire Mages still pose to be a giant threat with the ability Greater Pyroblast. Fire also has access to more CC than other mage specs thanks to the addition of Dragon's Breath, which makes securing crowd control a lot easier. Honestly, Fire Mage does it all in terms of casters. You've got that high consistent pressure if you pick up Greater Pyro, which is great for caster comps. Alternatively, if you're playing with a melee, you can pick up Fire Starter and get your combustion back for more of these high impact burst setups. Their only real weakness with their kit comes from their lack of slow, which makes kiting melee in uphill battle combined with the lack of consistent pressure if you're unable to get those greater pyros off. As for their best compositions, both RM Pala and Fire Mage Destro Mistweaver are the two standout comps. Our final addition to this tier and to this list as a whole will probably be no surprise to anybody. We are of course talking about Destro Warlock. Destruction Warlocks are just on a whole different level right now. The pure damage they're capable of is just immense. Sure, you could say to just avoid bolts, but Destruction has a multitude of ways to eventually secure one. And even if they are unable to get out any bolts, just the pure consistent damage of Immolates and Conflags is also super high. They really do create this damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Train a Destro Warlock and they seemingly take no damage, being without a doubt the tankiest caster. Leave them free and you're probably going to get a 500k Chaos Bolt to the face. Pair this up with all their CC, including Roots, Fear, Coil, Stuns. There is no question Destro Warlocks are just way overtuned and will more than likely remain so until the end of the expansion, which is unfortunate. The only real department that Destruction is lacking is mobility. Without Gateway available or Demonic Circle talented, you're just an immobile turret. In terms of Destruction compositions, they can honestly get away with playing most comps, but the one that stands head and shoulders above the rest is Destro Fire Mistweaver. All right, that's going to be it for our up-to-date 8.3 tier list for casters. Remember, this list was produced with our rank one consultants and has been targeted for Gladiator and upwards rating. All right, we here at Skillcapped put a ton of work into keeping you updated on how to play and play around every class in World of Warcraft Arena. The best way for you to show your support and love for the channel, as well as remaining up to date on any shifts in the meta as they happen, is to like, subscribe, and share the video. Remember, the content that you find here on YouTube is just a taste of the hyper-improvement platform you'll find on our website. If you're serious about pushing arena rating and want to improve, be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.